Hey guys, I hope you are staying cool in this crazy heat. I don't know how the weather is where you guys are, but it's been in the 90s for like the past three days and it's gonna keep going for the next couple days. So uh, if you hear a weird whirring noise, it is the AC. So just bear with me. Uh, I hope you guys are staying cool. So I placed an online order with Forever 21 because they had this like 20% off your entire purchase uh, coupon. I think it was like for five days or something. And uh, of course I put it off until the last day to place it. It was literally like the last five minutes. I was like, I'm gonna do this. So I kind of frantically picked stuff. I only got a few things, but the first thing I got is this necklace right here. It's in this and it was. It's in this antique gold sort of finish. It's got this cool drop pendant here, so it has a spike that drops there, and then it has this circle, triangle, spiky, faux rose gold sort of thing going on in the middle. But there is that necklace, and it was $5.90. Next thing I got is this t-shirt tunic sort of thing. Um, because I'm so small, it will fit me like a tunic, but it has this shadow stripe pattern going on here, so it is sheer. So you definitely have to wear something under it, just be very aware of what you're wearing with this. I got a size small and this was $15.90. Last thing I ordered uh, from the website, obviously I can't wear this anytime soon uh, as it is 90 degrees outside, but I got this cardigan here. It's got this cool pattern, I don't even know what you would call this, but it's navy and sort of a mustardy brown color. Um, very neutral, very fun, not fun, very flattering I think on all skin tones, but again, I cannot wear this anytime soon. But with the coupon, it, this was originally $32.90, which honestly wouldn't really spend that much at Forever 21 for one piece, but with the coupon I figured it would be a little bit better, I guess. So. I got that and this is also a size small. I did get a couple things in store now, <laughs> don't judge me for this, but I got a pair of sunglasses now. You're probably like, why would we judge you for that? Well, my sunglasses that I wear daily are prescription sunglasses because I don't wear contacts, so all my eyewear has to be prescribed. Um, so why did I buy these? I bought these for the sole purpose of wearing them in my lookbook videos. <laughs> If you're wondering why, it's because my prescription on my sunglasses is actually not updated or up to date with my glasses, um, and they also kind of slip around my face a lot, they're Ray-Bans, so <laughs> I got these so they would be like less trouble. I don't know. I think they're kind of cool. <laughs> I'm gonna stop talking about them now. Lastly, I got these ear jackets. I am wearing one today. I didn't put the other one in so I could show you guys, but they have gold little spikes on the bottom and a, a blue sort of lapis stone is the actual like earring part. So if you guys have never seen ear jackets, this is generally how they work. Some of them have three pieces. It just depends on uh, the style. But as I've mentioned before, I love ear jackets. They're like my definite favorite ear trend as of late. <laughs> I had a little story about this on Instagram. So I saw these online like two minutes after I placed that order, the online order that I showed you guys. I had gone to the mall one day and I was, I got my coffee and it was really watered down. It was super hot. Again, it was like 90, 95 degrees outside. Um, and I just didn't want to be that person to demand a new drink when everybody was waiting and it was so hot outside. I was all like bummed and I went to Forever 21 I was like, maybe I'll see those earrings I saw online. And lo and behold, they were there. Well, not that exciting the story, but it was exciting when it happened. Okay. I went to Charlotte Russe over Labor Day weekend, I believe, and they were having a sale. It was The whole store was 40% off, so I got this plaid. It's not flannel, but it's a plaid shirt, and I just love the colors. It's this deep purple maroon color with black and white. I don't have a flannel in this particular color scheme, so I, I justify it that way because I don't have one exactly like this. And I actually got in the large. I love getting these oversized. In fact, I don't like these fitted at all. I want these to be super big and comfy and just ugh, love it. Cotton On has the noisiest bags ever. Cotton On and Ulta. I'm like what? Why? So a funny story, I met a subscriber um, coming out of the dressing room at Cotton On. There was no one really working the dressing room so the girl was waiting and I came out. I could hear her like talking. I was about to say oh you could just use mine and then she pointed at me and I was like yes? And she was like I follow you on Instagram and I was like oh that's cool but I've never had someone react that way normally people like when they see me they kind of prepare something but she was like <laughs> it was nice to meet you I forgot your name anyway I got one thing when I went to Cotton On I got this pair of shorts and they were only 10 bucks they were on clearance and I am a sucker for anything with pockets that are sticking out like this they actually kind of they would work with that 
plaid shirt sort of with the color pattern of these pockets here but they're just a gray sort of worn looking thing but I love them super comfortable okay so I have some stuff from Shein inside and this first piece I did style in my next lookbook so keep an eye out for that it is this tunic dress I don't know really what to call this. It has like this drop waist sort of style. Um, it has a deep cut, but there's also a little snap there to secure it. I think it's really comfortable as well as flattering, and it's really good actually for a summer to fall sort of transition piece because you could definitely wear it in either season, especially with this color pattern going on. Weirdly, it came with this. I I don't honestly I don't know if this is supposed to be a bandeau or what. It came with this. And I can wear it as a bandeau, but it's not, like, it doesn't stretch that big. So, for anyone, like, bigger than me, I don't think this would work. So, I don't know. It's just a really bizarre thing for them to throw in there, but there's that. Next up, I showed a sneak peek of this on Instagram. I absolutely love the detail on this. It is, like, a baby doll dress, but it has so much, just, like, beautiful like beading and embroidery going on here. It's kind of like the Victorian trend meaning bohemian styles almost with this embroidery here. I will say I don't feel like this is my typical style. Like when I wear it, it just doesn't look like me, but I like it regardless. So it's just a really pretty piece and I think it's fun. So there's that one. Next up I got a romper. This one is with like three quarter length sleeves and it is very low cut here as you could probably tell. It does have a tie in the back like right behind the neck and then it has ties on the sleeves as well so you can tighten them however you need to. But it also has this really cool red pinky sort of coloring on the bottom so there's a nice bit of contrast with this piece so there is that. Lastly, I love this thing. <laughs> I'm really into this type of thing. This is a romper, but it's like a vest blazer romper. I don't know if that explains it very well. I love it. It's actually like very sexy, very like chic. I think you, I think, I think you can style it in a really cool, sophisticated way. So I just really like this. Okay, so lastly is Victoria's Secret, and I know those of you who are uncomfortable with underwear, feel free to end the video. This is going to be the last part of this haul, just like last time, so um, if you don't want to see it, then go ahead and, and I'll see you later. I did go ahead and do the 7 for, oh, there goes one, 6 now, 7 for 27 panty rate. Again, I hate that name like no other. They really need to change that. But um, the first one I got is actually very boring. The other ones are all new styles to me anyway. This is just the tribal lace slow hipster style. I love tribal lace. It's my favorite lace they've ever come out with. I wish they would do more with it, but uh, that's the first one. Next up, I did get a couple of these like athletic, they're almost like boy tidy whitey looking ones, but obviously they're for girls. They made them, I don't, you can't make tidy whitey sexy like that. That doesn't work, I don't understand. But I got the maroon pair that has a gray back, which is kind of bizarre, but go with it, I guess. I also got them in black, but you know what? You can't even see the detail on them. I wish I had gotten the neon. There's a bright neon fluorescent yellow one, and I really wish I had gone with those, but whatever. I got the black pair. I got this pair. You guys will probably notice that I really like the athletic sort of style when it comes to these. I don't know. It's really a thing for me. And I got the gray ones here. They have the pink band. I don't know if you guys will be able to tell that it says that, but these are just the striped cheeky cheekster ones. I got this pair because they're olive green, and <laughs> you guys know anything olive green, I'm a sucker for it. So I got those again with the pink band on the top. And lastly, I got these two from the actual Victoria's Secret cotton line, and I actually got these two sleep-ins. So they are the shorty styles, and I sized up on these because again, be sleeping in them, I don't want them to be like, constricting my waist or anything like that. I also got this black pair because I could wear these um, with dresses and such because they generally look like regular shorts as well. So there are those. All right, so that is it for my haul video. I hope you guys liked it. Stay tuned for my lookbook. I did film, I believe, six looks for it. So that'll be coming up shortly, but that is it for today. Thank you for watching and I will see you next time. That was my ankle cracking. Okay, bye.